The composition of the air we breathe is changing. The sources of toxic emissions are all around us. Every year around the world, seven million people die from air pollution. It's the world's biggest environmental killer. Here in Ireland, we have relatively good air quality compared with most of our EU neighbours, but that's thanks mainly to the prevailing Atlantic winds. But the World Health Organization recently warned that many towns and cities across Ireland breach safe levels for air pollution. In fact, per year, over 1,500 deaths here are attributed to air pollution. That's more than four lives lost every day. So I think it's time to ask, how safe is the air we breathe? Ireland's west coast is one of my favourite places in the world. There's nothing quite like opening up the door in the morning to breathe in fresh, clean Atlantic air. Breathing air is essential for life. It's an instinct. And we take it for granted that the air we breathe is safe. Our inhalation is caused by our exhalation. And so the longer that our exhalation is, the deeper the next breath will be. The cells in our bodies require a constant supply of oxygen to survive. Not only does breathing provide us with this essential oxygen, it also rids our bodies of waste products, such as carbon dioxide. Our cells use oxygen in a process called cellular respiration. This process provides the energy that living cells need to carry out all of the functions necessary to maintain life. Let the breath and the movement work together. But how often do we think about what's in that air? And then exhale, a really deep, long exhale. Pollution and airborne particles brew up an unhealthy mixture in the air that's just waiting to enter our lungs. And according to the World Health Organization, this could be slowly killing us. So what are these airborne threats? And where are they coming from? In Ireland, primary responsibility for monitoring air quality and emissions is assigned to the Environmental Protection Agency. To find out what's in the air we breathe, I'm here in UCD to meet Patrick Kenny from the EPA. Patrick, what damage does air pollution actually do? It's the impact on our health. This is a major public health issue. Um, the recently published uh, European Environment Agency's Air Quality in Europe report um, assigned 1,500 approximately premature deaths to poor air quality in Ireland, with the majority of those being due to fine dust particles, PM10 and PM2.5. And equally, the EPA is also concerned in relation to our nitrogen dioxide levels in our larger urban centres, where the trend is of concern. And where do these air pollutants actually come from? So we're standing here on the roof of the physics building here in UCD. There is an ongoing EPA-funded research project called Aerosource that is run by NUIG. And its provisional data, because that project is still running, is showing that 76% in wintertime in Dublin is coming from heating. The dominant source in there is solid fuel heating. It's your coal, your wood and your turf. The remainder is coming from other sources, such as transport. Is rural air quality then better than our urban air quality? What we would see across our network is that the air quality in our smaller towns and villages in Ireland is often as bad, if not worse, than we have here in Dublin or in our larger cities. Across the country, the EPA monitors the total amount of toxins suspended in the atmosphere. At their lab just off campus, Patrick showed me these microscopic pollutants captured on a filter. These are filters from an instrument that pulls through a day's worth of air. 
So this is what it looks like before, and then you're saying that this is just one day. That's one day's worth of air, yes. This is, I honestly cannot believe that. I think that's terrifying because you can't see this, and you can't see this when you're looking around. And this is hitting people's lungs. This is genuinely being absorbed into our lungs. Yes, that's the issue with those fractions of fine dust below PM10, that they are capable of passing deep and penetrating deep into our lungs with very negative health impacts. Patrick, how are we doing by European standards here in Ireland? When you compare our air quality against the limit values that are in the European directives, um, we don't breach or exceed those levels. However, that's not a complete picture because when you compare us to the tighter World Health Organization's guideline values, we would exceed those at a number of stations across Ireland. So Patrick, are we breaching the safe levels then for air quality? The World Health Organization have intimated that there are no safe levels of air pollutants. It's concerning that the primary cause for poor air quality in Ireland is man-made. The way we heat our homes here in this country and the fumes from our car exhausts are directly damaging our health.